G'day Taurus, welcome to TJ Terra Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you, was it now? See what's going on. So, yes, this is a general reading. I repeat, general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, guess what? It's not your story. Okay? <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Taurus, please. Okay, two more, please. Uh, all the decks are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you are interested. One more. There we go. Ooh. I saw that one. <laughs> Uh, hope you're all doing well and having a good day, wherever and whenever you are. Hope it's all good. All right, clarify card number one, please. Okay, just the one card. Clarify card number two, uh, please. And card number three, please. Whoa. All right. I don't take reversals in case you're wondering. So we've got, ooh, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. With the Knight of Wands, ooh. Um, yeah, they're not looking for love. They're looking for a passionate night of action, which is exactly what this night is. All about passion and action. A passionate night of action. Yeah, uh, yeah, a good time, not a long time. Oh, dear. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Yeah, they're a bit of a player party person. Page of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. And Seven of Cups. Yeah, um... They like to have... Yeah, they're um, addicted to people making... You know, they might talk about stability... Or people offering them stability. As soon as someone offers them a small amount of stability and they feel they've got you trapped, they're looking at other options. Knowing that you, yeah, making sure you aren't looking at any other options, but they're doing options behind your back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't like this energy. Oh, reconciliation. Someone in your past is returning to your life. Um, I'm feeling they do this so that they can return. So they can come back again. The moon, yes. Well, secretly they could be wanting to reconcile with somebody else. The death card. Someone they ended things with. Queen of swords. Ooh, someone that went cold on them. The lovers, someone they see as their soulmate. Page of Swords have been spying on them. Mm, five of Swords. <sighs> yeah, they don't care if they hurt other people. They just want what they want. Playing mind games and manipulating their, their person as well. Ooh, Taurus, yeah. Um, yeah, this is a, not a good energy. They just want to come and play. They're not looking for love with you. They're addicted to the, having other people want them, but keeping their options open, including going back to somebody that they were in a relationship with. And that's what they like to do. Keep people on a string, keep people trapped not looking at anybody else, 
with very little stability between you two. And then they can come back again and play that game. But they've got their choice of people because, you know, once you go cold or, the, like, the person they want to go back to goes cold, they've got choices of other people. They've always got their eye out. And they don't care as long as they're happy. Ugh. Give me three more cards for the love energy coming towards Taurus, please. Okay, that one landed last. We've got three here. One, two, three. Okay, let's get the clarifiers. Oh, dear Taurus. It's got player written all over it. While you're waiting, you can feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. They are free. I'd appreciate it. Heaps. Clarify card number one, row two. Peace. Number two, please. Oh, wow. Yeah, we all know what that card means, don't we, in this situation? <laughs> card number three. Whoa. Knock over my sign. Oh, God. Alright, they have the Thinking Woman, which is pretty much a Queen of Swords. I'm hearing this is like their little black book, and they go through it and think about, ooh, who can I go back to? Who will have, who's not angry with me right now? Yeah. Who have I left hanging? The hangman. Yeah, going through their book. Thinking about who have I left hanging that I haven't been in touch with for a while. That I need to rekindle a little bit of hope in them. Walking away. Yeah. Wow. Three of Cups and King of Wands. Yep. Yep. They'll walk away to go off and party with somebody else. They're all about partying. They're not about staying. They're about walking away. And they are in total control of their actions and their passions. They know exactly what they're doing. Oh, yeah, they know exactly what they're doing. And door to romance. Yeah, well, they open the door to romance. But being romantic doesn't mean that they're going to stay. Seven of Pentacles, yeah, all the doors that they've opened to romance, all the ones they've invested in. Ten of Wands, yeah, they become a burden. Yeah, it, it becomes a burden once they want to work on things. <sighs> they have these doors to romance, you know, open up the romance, it's not love, it's passion. And as soon as someone wants to invest in them, they pick up their coin and walk away because it's a burden to them to work on anything. They like the romance. They like the, you know, hot and... I was going to say hot and spicy. <laughs> well, I suppose it is hot and spicy. Um, yeah. It's not chicken, though. <laughs> anyway. See? Patch on. Lay your heart and soul to sing with joy. This is what they're about. Passion. That's it. Passion. Passion with you, passion with them, passion with, yeah. And nine of pentacles, yeah, exactly. But they're staying single. Single, grounded, stable, independent, happy to be on their own. Doing fine on their own being single. They just want passion with people. Envy. They like people to be jealous of each of, you know, they like the envy. They like that people are jealous of them. Possibly they could have mates that go, oh, how do you do it? How do you get all those, you know, guys or girls? How do you do that? They're jealous of them. But I'm feeling it's also that they like people being jealous. Like, say, you were to engage in this 
and then found out that they were also seeing somebody else. They want you, you and someone else to fight over them, be envious of each other, be jealous of each other. That you know there was that there's someone else that's interested. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Again, another eight. It's a one. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. They're stable on their own. Their their own stability. They're not. And as you can see here, they're not offering the coin. They're offering this bug. I know it's a it's a scarab or I can't remember what they're called, but they are a good symbol. But hmm. No, it's all about their own stability. Could also be they're envious of people who do have stable beginnings but with other people. But when they look in the mirror, they see that they have an unhealthy attachment to deceiving people. And action. Yeah. And they want action all the time. I'm hearing that poison song. I want action tonight. Satisfaction, all right. You've got the love I need tonight. And that's what it's about. The love I need tonight. Yep, because of the blossoming abundance of community. Third parties. Yeah, might be holding their ha heart out, but nah. Yeah, as soon as the angel of love comes into the situation, it's a storm warning for them like a tower, and they need to take a time out, rest and rejuvenate. Yeah, because the card under that is the door to their own personal happiness and healing. And it's all about their own personal situation they don't care about anyone else they only care about themselves an abundance of yeah third parties taking action to deceive it's an unhealthy attachment that you know they're manifesting themselves <sighs> yeah playa and they love being a player and that's fine. Go and find another player to play with. Leave my... Well, not my. <laughs> but <laughs> People are looking for love. Just leave them alone. Like, oh, that's what I hate. Yeah, they'll come with the, Oh, you're so beautiful, Taurus. Which you are. But they're not using it in the right way. They're using it to deceive you. All right, what would this energy on the table like to say to Taurus, please? No, it's not coming out. And there you go. I love your smile. Yeah. Yeah, and they like it when you're happy. But when it comes to anything serious or discussions of the future or working on things, investing in a future with you or anything, no. They just like it when you smile at them. I miss you. And then they make you miss them. And then they say, oh, I miss you. Can I come back again? <laughs> Time wasters is what they are. All right, Taurus, well, that's your reading. Just be careful of the unrequited player that will be back and forth in and out of your life and many others. Hmm. Yeah, if they're coming on too much with the passion and not enough with the talk of anything else, then you know that's that energy. Alright, okay. Alright, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a comment. Um, yeah. But don't leave the comment, it's not my reading. Because guess what, it's not your reading. <laughs> Alright, well thanks for watching.
All the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.